Hola, and welcome to New Mexico. On this edition of the show, we're in Santa Fe checking out the brand new GL. It's aggressive and off-roading looks and style capabilities, but on the inside, it's a luxurious cabin, seats for seven and loaded with leather. How are we gonna figure out which one it is? We're gonna take it for a drive. So come on, let's go. All right, so here we are in the twisty, windy, beautiful roads just outside Taos, a major ski village here in New Mexico. And we're driving this, the beautiful, wonderful, all new GL. There's a couple things about this car that are very interesting. One, on the outside, it's got very aggressive off-road looks. It's big, Uh, it's got great ground clearance, all that kind of stuff of a normal off-roader. When you're in the car, it's a lot roomier on the inside than it looks from the outside. I was afraid uh, that they were going to make this car massive, you know, the minivan, American, mid-America kind of style, and it's not. There's plenty of room. There's room for seven people to sit. You're just ensconced in leather and luxury, and, um, you know, so it's it's the S-class of the SUV world. One of my favorite things is the 360 degree camera. Really interesting. Uh, It uses multiple cameras around the car to essentially produce a bird's eye view. So uh, it's almost like you have a helicopter with a camera on it and it's flying right above your car. So you see everything around it and you think, well, why is that necessary? First off, kind of in a big car, uh, you're backing out of a parking structure and next thing you know, the back left of your car is completely scraped up because you hit the pillar. Not with a 360 camera. Um, Also, if you're off-roading a little bit, you can use it to see what's kind of up ahead on the corner, how close are you to the edge. Those things are all very important. So the uh, safety tech that I really love on this car, one is crosswind assist. Let's say you're heading down the freeway. uh, There's beautiful wide open plains to your left and to your right, and a strong gust of tornado wind comes and tries to sweep you off your feet well. Your crosswind assist uses ABS, ESP, a bunch of different technology, three letters, and uh, grabs the brakes and the steering and pulls you back into your lane. Awesome. Also, there's a number of features on this car which uh, keep your car flat as you're cornering. So, uh, in some cars, if you were to start swerving, Uh, you would get a lot of what they call body roll, right? Which is literally the body of the car is rolling back and forth. Or for you viewers at home, it's rolling back and forth. Um, But as you can see here, the car stays relatively flat, even though I'm bumping the camera around. But the people stay relatively flat, and that's important, and I like that. In a car this size, you might think, okay, well, it's, it's probably lumbering, it's probably kind of soft in the corners when you're steering. That's not the case at all. The steering itself, in fact, is really agile. The car feels, I don't know if nimble is the right word, but for a car this size, it feels like you could really maneuver this around parking lots. Combined with the 360 degree camera and the aromatic suspension, it really is an extremely comfortable ride without it being soft. You know, it's not a boring ride. It's not like Uh, old school hoopties that are just kind of bouncing up and down after you hit a speed bump 10 minutes later. That's too soft. But it's also not the sports car where you're like, "Uh, uh, 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 uh," as you're driving over gravel. This is a great combination of both. You can actually raise the suspension, not only for ground clearance, but also for comfort. There's a suspension setting that you can change between sport and comfort. So, you know, it's a really great combination of Yes, it's a luxury automobile, and yes, there's lots of people inside, but it's comfortable. So you look in the trunk and you realize not much room, but they have fixed that with a couple pushes of a couple buttons. Voila, all of a sudden, keeps of space. And you can't be bothered reaching in there and picking up those seats yourself. Hit the same buttons and they magically return. But wait, there's more. Check this out. So you know how normally if you were trying to climb in to get in the third row, you're trying to get in and you're reaching across and you just, it's not, it's just, it's not gonna happen. So they fixed that with an easy access button. Again, one touch and you're in.
All right, there we go. That is our day with the all new GL. It's a car that makes me wish I were young again. Mostly because then I could be dropped off at school in this amazing, luxurious wagon. All right. For Mercedes-Benz Reporter, I'm Bradley Hazemeyer. See you next time. I got a party to get to. It's